Welcome to Stone's Kitchen. Look, we fixed the cook up a little dough that BK shot the other day. Okay, shoulder roast. Okay, in a Dutch oven. Okay, with all the special ingredients and rubs and all this other stuff. Hey, it'll make you slap your mama. It's so good. Well, you know, so most people. Mama knock you out too. Most people take that shoulder and they saw all this ground up in the hamburger meat. But there's other ways you can cook a uh, venison shoulder roast, and this is one of them. And it's pretty simple. Now there there are better ways to to do this, but this is a quick and easy way that pretty much anybody can do. Let me tell you the key to this. You see this right over here? He's taking about 15 minutes to cut all that stuff off that you don't want to eat. Okay, this is the gristle. Sinews. Something that won't render down when you cook it. Blood clots. Blood clots off of it. Uh, the uh, glands. No glands. No glands. None of that stuff. Good That's the off. key to having a good meal is hey, preparation of the meat first. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to brown this shoulder. And I like to do everything in the same pot. Put a base on this thing. And I always like to use mustard. So I'm gonna put a little bit of mustard in. Don't worry, when, when this thing cooks, you won't be able to taste that mustard. No. It, it, it just binds, it. binds your rub to whatever you're cooking. That's all it's for, it's a binder. You can take your seasoning of choice, any kind of rub would do, but I prefer, of course, Phil Robertson's rub. You give it a good flavor. It's, it's got heat and it's sweet. <clears throat> So we're gonna, we're gonna be generous with it. I got that on there. Now we're gonna go outside, get to the fire. We're gonna get this Dutch oven good and hot, and I'm gonna brown both sides. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, brown no shoulders. All right, you ready? Yep. Let's get these things in that pot. Alrighty. We're gonna brown that on both sides. Okay. And then we're going to set it off to the side here in this pan. It ain't quite as hot as I want it to. We're going to flip her over. Do the same thing. Let's see it ain't quite brown. Okay. Right. Needs to be a little bit hotter. tell one thing. What? Once you put all the ingredients in this thing, you're going to make some good gravy. That's right. I mean real good gravy. Now the reason you go slow cooking on a shoulder is because the deer use that shoulder muscle more than any other muscle. Did you know that? No, I didn't. So when that deer is walking, he's doing this. The whole time, using those shoulders. That's why they're so tough. Well, you gonna put it in layers, mixed up a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. A little the, the onions go on the bottom, yep. and the garlic, yep. and then the the roast goes on top of that on the bed. That's called a bed. Yep. So it'll be a bed of onions and garlic, and your what they call the azure. That was that what they call it? Azure. Something like that. Azure, yeah. something like that all the drippings. So I'm gonna take this one, get it out of it. Right, yeah. So now we got a little bit of brown on our shoulders. Right, boys. So now we're gonna go with the onions. Yep, the bed starting to be made, boys. We're gonna make the bed. We're gonna make the bed. Make the bed right here. So we're just gonna saute these onions a little bit. That's two yellow onions, sweet yellow onions. What well, I call them Vidalia onions, yep. Yep, there you go. You can't beat a Vidalia onion, boys. So we're just gonna saute these onions. And when they're ready, they'll be transparent. We'll go shoulder on top of that bed right there. Then the bell peppers, garlic. And towards the end, we'll add the celery. Because you add the celery too quick, it'll disintegrate. Yep. Now, 
we got our bed of onions, okay? So next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put our deer shoulder, we're gonna put that little deer back to bed. That right, boy. Nighty night. Nighty night, buddy. Back to bed on top of the onions. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah, throw them in there. <laughs> put these little hops down in there. That's it. Everybody's got a, got a place. Right, boys. Everybody's got their place in this bed. Now, put the garlic in there, boys. Garlic, whole garlic. We'll just sprinkle those on mm -hmm. in there. Kind of even everybody out. That's make right. sure everybody That's gets right. a little That's bit. Right. Stuff, stuff them down in them, in them crevices. That's it, boys. Get in them crevices right there. Now get All right, the next thing we add. Bell pepper, boys. Bell pepper. Scatter those amongst oh, yeah. the shoulder. Now we got the bell pepper in there. A little ranch seasoning. Just dump that, spread that out. That's the powder seasoning? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Huh. Yes, sir. Okay, boy. All right, All got right. that. Mm -hmm. And next, we're going to add a little. This is mushroom gravy. I usually put au jus gravy, but they didn't have any at the grocery store I was at, so we go mushroom gravy. We go mushroom On gravy. On top of that, boy. there's a few little dried mushrooms in there. So like I say, you can do this a different way, but this is quick and easy and really good. All right, got that in there. Now the next thing I'm gonna add is these, uh -oh, how do you say this, uh, how do you say that? Whole pepper on sini. Pe pepper, pepperoni, pepper, pepperoni, cini. Pep yeah, pepperoncini peppers. Okay. 300 degrees. 300 degrees, boy. Two and a half hours. We're gonna check it for tenderness. We're gonna stick fork in it, and if it falls off the bone, then, then we'll eat. Ready to go. <laughs> All right. Then we'll eat. So while we're waiting on our shoulder roast, we're gonna carve up this big old dough. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is where this is where I age all my deer. Notice I put on. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So I just you just get you a little refrigerator, nothing expensive. Vacuum seal oh. your old deer, and set them in there for about ten days, and you will not believe how much more tender your deer steak will be. And nobody else been messing with it. You know that's you that did it. So and notice I got a sign on there: Do not open. That's for a reason. You don't want to open it. I won't open that. Golf cart over being charged. Uh, yeah. Okay, I was just checking. I think so. Okay, we'll find out. Hey, let's see what you got. Give him one, two. Give him one, two. Look at the cat, boys. You just broke it up. No. <laughs> I just broke that clown. I hit y'all. <laughs> All right, Ty. Been about this, three hours. This thing has been, was walking around three days ago. Been in the ice chest with a little brine. Two shoulders off a of young doe. We browned it. We got the veggies in there. We've been cooking it for about three hours. About right three at three hours. hours. So. You want it tender, boys. We need it tender. We checked it at two and a half. It wasn't quite there. The cellar wasn't quite ready. So now three hours. All right, let's, let's see, see what, what we got. got. All right, let's see what we got, boys. Young doe. Ooh. Boy, howdy. Boy, it looks yeah. good. I'll tell you what. I think we're ready. Yeah, yeah. I think we're ready. Let's see yeah. what we got here. Oh yeah, it's ready. Easy, easy, it's hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it good? Is it good? Woo! All right, you. mama, you ready to eat? All right, so I'm gonna bless you, all right? All right. Father, we love you. We thank you for all the blessings you give us. 
Thank you for this good food that you supplied for us. And most of all, thank you for Jesus, what he did for us on the cross. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. I'll get right. I'll put a spoon right. Get you some of that pepper. Look here, boys. Mike and subscribe. Because, hey, this is fine and frog ass, but it's 40 weeks. <laughs>